Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this bird's eye, voila, skillet meals. This one is the Cheesy Ranch Chicken. Uh, it is white meat chicken, pasta, broccoli, carrots, and corn in a creamy ranch and cheddar cheese sauce. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, let's see, size the container. Here it is, 21 ounces, one pound, five ounces, or 595 grams. So it's pretty good size. Um, it says it's ready in 15 minutes. Da, 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 da. I'll tell you the rest of this in a second. Uh, it is a frozen dinner, uh, or frozen meal. We bought it at Meyer. It was $5.39 for the bag. So that's not too awfully bad. Because I think the serving size, yeah, there's three servings per container. A third of a cup or one cup cooked is 210 calories. So what is that, 630 calories if you eat the whole thing? Not too bad. There's your other information. Tam will have a better picture, of course, uh, if you, at the end if you want to see it. So there's a couple different ways you can make this. I'm going to make sure it focuses. There you go. Um, keep frozen. Don't thaw it out, basically. The microwave directions are for an 1100 watt microwave, which might be a little bit hotter than that, but not much. A little bit better than that. Um, so you can do it in the stove top if you'd like to. Of course, I don't do it in the stove top, but there the directions are if you want them. We're going to do it in the microwave. So we're going to open the sauce pouch and empty into an 8 inch square pan, which I do have, a micro, micro safe dish, add the frozen meal and cover. I'm going to cover with plastic wrap. Microwave and high for 5 minutes, stir thoroughly and replace the cover and microwave for an additional 4 to 6 minutes. I will probably do 5 minutes, so 5, stir and 5. So what you want to do is get your pan. Let me turn you down just a little bit. And I'm going to cut the bag open because it doesn't have like a, a perforated part at the top. So you just have to, you have to cut it with scissors. So this is what the bag looks like inside. And you get a pouch right here in the middle, or kind of in the back, whatever, um, of your sauce. So what you want to do is open that. And let's see, does it have a pull thing? Might. If it doesn't, you'll have to just cut it open. No, I don't see any way to pull it apart. Oh, wait, right here. There we go. It was on the bottom instead of the top. So this is frozen solid, so it's just gonna sit in here um, for right now. It's gonna, gonna lay right there. And then you're gonna dump your veggies and your chicken and stuff. Just dump it in there. Don't drop it on the counter if you can help it. I just kind of put it around the sauce, that's fine. And then I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap. And it's just a regular old plastic wrap. And seal it pretty decently. And it's just to keep the moisture in, I think, more than anything. There we go. Seal it up pretty good and get it in the microwave. And like I said, five minutes, stir it, and then another five minutes, and then I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And um, I was worried about the pasta getting uh, like burnt or something, just in case it wasn't in the sauce, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it got a. Uh, it got scorched or anything. How cooked are the carrots? And they feel a little crunchy. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, so I took the plastic wrap off. It worked really nicely keeping the steam in. Uh, but just be careful when you're taking it off if you use plastic wrap because it will, uh, there's steam trapped in there so it will be very hot when you take it off and uh, you have a lot of moisture and steam in there. So just be careful. Pan's also very, very, very hot. So make sure you have something you can sit it on top of. So I'll be, uh, take it over the table and be right back. Okay, I'll let it cool off for just a minute. And uh, got pasta, broccoli, chicken. I think there's a piece of corn in there and um, a carrot uh, on my fork here. And uh, let's see what it tastes like. Not bad texture. The pasta is cooked really well. I'm gonna try kind of each element to see if I can be more specific. So the pasta. The sauce is heat hot, so um, so it is a little hot. The pasta is a little on the underdone side. It's a little um, firm and a little chewy. So the pasta could have been cooked a little bit warm. Um, maybe if I'd went another uh, minute, it would have been different, but I don't think it would be greatly different. 
so that's good it's like i said it, it's good it's just uh it's a little firmer than i personally like it but uh, some people may like it better um a little uh, chewier the broccoli there's plenty of florets but there's also uh, a lot of stems in there as well which is whatever i prefer the florets the green part to the stems but you know you can't have perfect you can't have florets all and everything because it costs too much but here we go you do have some stems as well what I do like about it, uh, the florets were cooked perfect so they're they're really good and tender um, have a really good texture to them the stems are a little crunchier but they're not like raw hard broccoli drip some from my fork um, it's not a raw hard broccoli it's not like blanched or something like that it is cooked um, it's just it'll got a little crunch to it still which is fine I'm perfectly fine with with how the broccoli is cooked it's good uh, corn get a fork full of corn here in this particular meal you're really there's not a ton of corn here so you're not really going to get the individual texture of the corn I do have to say the corn, the skin on the corn is a little tough, but um, but like I said, you're only going to get a piece or two in each bite anyway, so it's not that big a deal. I, I think it's okay. Chicken, pretty decent sized chunks of chicken in there. Some of them are smaller, but like that size. Good and tender. Not dry at all. You can tell they've actually um, chopped up actual whole chicken, not uh, processed it or anything like that. So that's really good. Actually has a really good flavor to it as well. So they've uh, they've seasoned it well. Now the carrots. The carrots, if you watch my channel for any long pe period of time, you know raw carrots are definitely not my thing. Undercooked carrots, I really don't enjoy either, but, um, but we'll see. Hmm those are okay it's kind of like the stems for the broccoli um there's definitely some crunch to it still although these aren't like uh like i said blanched kind of vegetables that really are almost raw um but but steam just a little bit this is not like that or boiled just a little bit they're cooked but i personally do not like that that much of a undercooked carrot i would want mine much uh much softer than that particular carrot so um so the carrots for me is probably something i would eat around but i'm not going to detract that from the meal that's just a personal preference for me so i like the flavor of the individual stuff i think where it falls a little flat is in the sauce itself um so it's supposed to be a creamy ranch sauce creamy ranch and cheddar cheese sauce i'm getting a little bit of the cheese flavor but not much of the ranch flavor which is surprising because ranch can be really strong if they wanted it to be and i'm seeing a bunch of like spices in there but i don't really I don't really taste anything it's kind of uh kind of plain the sauce is you get a, i won't say it's completely plain you get a little bit of ranch flavor, you get a little bit of the cheese flavor, but most of what you taste is the underlying like pasta and vegetables and chicken and all that stuff. Yeah, if you get a piece of broccoli, that's pretty much all you taste. If you get a piece of, uh, of chicken, that's pretty much all you taste. So they really kind of, uh, fell flat on the sauce because the sauce needed to be like at least twice as strong as it is now because it's really it's not very flavorful so um i like the amount of food you get three people eating on this that's press that's pushing it a little bit i don't know that you could get three i mean it depends on how much you eat of course but uh i think this could comfortably fill to uh eat um, serve two people but three would be kind of pushing you have very small portion sizes um 
Again, that's the way I eat, not necessarily the way you eat. So you might be able to eat this and say, heck, there's five servings here. You know, I don't know. Um, you know, each, each person, each family is different. For me, I think there's probably more of two servings in this container. And um, if you had something else to the side, like, a, I don't know, a salad or something like that, a bread or something, it would, it would probably go further. Um, you know, I'm going to give it a three out of five. I really, I don't like the carrots being undercooked. And I said, I, I, I mean, they're okay, but boy, they're really crunchy for me. I'm okay with the broccoli being crunchy and even the stems of that are a little crunchier than I like and the pasta is a little tougher. So the whole thing needed to be just a little bit more. Um, like I said, maybe if I went for six minutes instead of five minutes, it might have put it up to that point. I don't think the carrots and the broccoli stems would ever be tender um, unless you really, really cooked them a long time. But by then, everything else would be overcooked. So I don't know. Take it what it is. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. Flavor is the biggest detractor from this. The sauce really doesn't have a lot of flavor. So that's the, probably the biggest reason for giving it a three instead of something higher. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.